Hi guys, it's Hanny from Eclipse All Sports and I'm just wanting to bring you another SG Cricket Bat review. Uh, we're bringing quite a few SG Bat reviews and the reason for that is we're trying to get all the SG Bat reviews done uh, for the, by the end of this week really. And then we're going to move on to the other bats that we've got in stock and try and get those reviewed. And hopefully by the end of next week we will have every bat in stock reviewed and listed up on the website so that you're able to have a, an in-depth look at everything that we've got in stock and hopefully it'll help you make a decision on which bat is right for you. So we're going to start off with the Sierra 350 cricket bat. So we're going to start off with cricket bat number one. Uh, if you just take a look at this one, it's absolutely stunning. So this is classed as a grade two, but as you can see, we've picked out some stunning bats from SG and we've picked out some really nice looking bats. Uh, most companies would probably grade this as a pro grade or at least a grade one, because um, you've only got a little bit of heartwood and you've got beautiful straight even grains. So if you just count them up, you've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 grains on this one. 12 straight even grains, there's no blemishes, and then there's a little bit of heartwood there as well. So yeah, a lot of players prefer uh, around about 30-40% of heartwood, and um, yeah, these two-tone style bats. So if you're someone who prefers uh, that kind of bat, then this one's excellent for you. You're looking at a 39-40mm edge on this one and a 63mm spine. It's a very big profile shape, very thick all the way up and all the way down. Uh, big shoulders as well. Uh, round handle, you've got this thin half moon scale type grip. Um, I've talked about these grips in the other video reviews. They are a little bit thin and they're not as good as the SG branded grip. So I'm not sure why they aren't stuck in SG branded grip. Uh, instead of this half moon scale type grip so I would recommend probably either adding a second grip or replacing this with a, a better quality grip um, so just looking down the spine you have got a tiny little bit of concaving but not massive amounts and those grains are running nice and straight through the toe and you can see how thick that toe is you get a very thick toe so it's a lovely bat this one is a fairly heavy cricket bat or a medium weight it's weighing at 210.9 so near enough £2.11 <coughs> and to be honest it feels around about £2.11 it doesn't pick up uh, any lighter than the dead weight suggests it feels its weight and that's probably down to this thin grip um, you can feel the weight a bit further down the blade because you're getting plenty of wood down low you've got that thick toe and that mid to low middle um, so yeah you can feel the weight down low and it does probably feel around about £2.11 but if you want to make the back pick up a little bit lighter you can always add a second grip and that will help it feel lighter um, so we're just going to go on to the performance, and the performance is excellent guys, the ping on it is exceptionally good. Pings really well, absolutely flies off, and to be honest with you, it's near enough £2.11, so you expect it to ping really well, but this one rebounds exceptionally well, and the response is excellent. So if you're someone that's on a budget, and you think you can't find a bat that looks good and performs well, um, you will be mistaken guys, because this one is a stunning looking bat. Uh, most people would say this is a top grade cricket bat. Um, lucky for us, SG have graded this as a 350. Um, so yeah, we were very fortunate enough to pick this one up. So we'll be listing this for $169.99. So not only are you getting exceptional value for money, you're getting an exceptionally good looking cricket bat that performs amazingly well, guys. Uh, the balance in the pickup probably feels more its weight, but that's not a bad thing. Some people prefer a bat that feels £2.10, £2.11. This one feels £2.11 and it's pretty much £2.11 on the scales. But like I said, if you add that second grip, it's going to help with the balance in the pickup and it'll help this bat pick up a little bit lighter and feel a little bit better in the hands. So yeah, this is cricket bat number one and it's an excellent quality cricket bat and you also get a free padded back cover and free UK mainland delivery as well. So that's number one. Uh, moving on uh, to cricket bat number two. Uh, this one is a little bit lighter, this one's 29.8 and again you're getting really nice looking grains, really nice straight and even grains, you've got a bit of heartwood again, uh, a little bit more heartwood there, um, let's count them up, we've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, so you've got 18, 19 grains, maybe 20 grains, it's hard to count them because there's quite a lot of grains if you have a look in the heartwood as well. Um, so the very nice straight even grains, very nice looking bat. The only thing that's spoiling the looks is that tiny little blemish there, but that's nothing to worry about and it's not going to affect performance. 
Um, but other than that, it's an absolute stunner again, guys. So like I say, a lot of companies would grade this as pro grade or top grade. I remember I reviewed a Newbury Pro Cricket Bat last year and it had more hardwood than this and it was classed as their pro grade willow and they was charging about £500 for that cricket bat. So to get something that looks this good for around less than £170, uh, that's exceptional value for money guys. You've got a 39-40mm edge and around a 63mm spine again. A uh, very big bat for the weight, very nice shape. And if you look down that spine, minimal concave. Grains going nice and straight through the toe, nice thick toe. Round handle again, same style grip, and we'll just go to the balance of the pickup. 210.4, and to be honest with you, this one picks up around about the £2.10. It feels a bit better, it doesn't feel as bottom heavy as a uh, cricket bat uh, number one. We'll just see how it performs. And it pings quite nice, to be honest with you. It's really nice and responsive. It doesn't feel very hard at all, it feels nice and responsive, uh, a nice soft feel of it to be honest with you. <coughs> so both these bats have been very responsive <coughs> straight out of the packet and they've been pinging really well straight away. So these probably ping just as good as the top end cricket bats but you're getting a really nice looking bat for less than £170 guys and that's cricket bat number 2. And like I say, free padded back cover so excellent value for money again. Uh, moving on uh, to cricket bat number three. You're getting no hardwood on this one, it's all sapwood. And you're getting lovely grains. Maybe not perfectly straight, but they're nice and even. And it's a lovely looking bat. To be honest, a lot of companies will be grading this as a grade one, grade one plus. And SG are graded that as a grade two. So you're getting excellent value for money there. You've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven grains. You're getting eleven grains on this one. Uh, absolutely love looking back. Again, 39, 40 millimeter edge and around a 63, 64 millimeter spine on this one. Nice big high spine. Uh, lovely looking back. Lovely shape. And if you just look down that spine, really nice high spine but you're getting a little bit more concave on this one but you're getting a much higher spine a nice thick toe so yeah really nice looking bat um, and then you're getting a very thin round handle so we'll see how it picks up I think this one again is weighing around about uh, the £2.10 mark it feels lighter than that so it might be around about the £2.9 mark um, so I'll just tap it up like I said this is going to be listed as cricket bat number three so you'll have You'll have the weights and measurements listed up on the website. I'll just check and see what weight this one is because it does feel very light. Uh, this one's actually 28.5 uh, and to be honest with you, it does feel around about the 28, 28.5. Probably doesn't feel massively lighter than 28, uh, but it certainly does feel light. And um, I, like I said to you before, it's got a thin handle with a thin grip. So if you add a second grip or a thicker grip, this bat will pick up very light and it looks stunning. And yeah let's see how it performs so it's probably got a little bit firmer feel than the other two bats which were very springy and responsive straight out of the packet this one's got more of a firmer feel which is a surprise to me to be honest because normally bats with more grains and heartwood tend to have a slightly firmer feel but they felt really nice and springy uh, this one feels a little bit firmer and doesn't feel as responsive as the first two but it still pings well and once it's been oiled and knocked in it'll probably start performing really well but yeah you feel like you're getting a little bit of vibration up through the handle when tapping it up and I think that might be due to the really thin handle and the really thin grip so it'd definitely be worth adding a second grip on this one I think um, but yeah, it's, as you can see, it still pings well. It is the lightest cricket bat. Both those other bats were 210, 211, so you know they were much heavier, so they're going to ping a bit better. Um, this one, it still pings very well, but it's going to need a little bit of playing in, and I reckon it's going to be probably just as good. But I would definitely recommend a second grip on this one, uh, just to help with the feel of the bat and also help with the balance and the pickup. But I think these edges are around about the 40 millimeter mark and the spines are around about the 64, 65. Uh, so it's a big bat for the weight. There is a little bit of concave in and the handle's a little bit thin. 
Um, but these are things that uh, you can um, sort out with an extra grip and it should pick up really well. But it's a stunning looking bat and again $169.99 for a bat that looks like a grade 1, grade 1 plus bat is exceptional value for money guys. Moving on now to cricket bat number 4 and you're getting another stunning looking bat. Nice bit of hardwood there. There is a few little wobbles in the grains but nothing to worry about. Just in the hardwood there you can feel a few little specks. But it's a stunning looking bat and we'll just count up these grains for you. We've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16 grains. So you've got 15, 16 grains down there. Um, stunning bat. 40mm edge and a 63-64mm spine, nice big thick toe, spine up into the handle, uh, medium round handle, same style grip. I think that's my only gripe with SG is they're putting some of these cheaper grips on some of their bats and I would stick, I would always stick to a good quality grip on a cricket bat. Um, grips are not that expensive so why you would try and cut back on a grip where it affects the balance and the pickup and is probably one of the most important parts of a good quality bat or any cricket bat is a good quality grip, it makes a bat feel completely different um, I'm not sure, so I would recommend SG probably look at the grips and try and put the same grips on all their bats as for me, these kind of grips do spoil the balance and the pickup of the bat so I would definitely recommend replacing the grip or adding a second grip so this is 210.4 and again, uh, this probably feels its way around about 210, 210 to 210.4 it doesn't feel much lighter than that it feels about bang on its weight and we'll just see how it performs and like bat 1 and bat 2 it's very responsive very springy and it's really good quality bat again really impressed with these lower end or mid range cricket bats from SG so yeah this is a grade 2 piece of willow as graded by SG but most companies would grade this as a grade 1, grade 1 plus um, and it performs just as good as a grade 1, grade 1 plus. Uh, so bats 1, 2 and 4, exceptionally looking, exceptional performance straight out of the packet. Uh, bat number 3, beautiful looking bat, very lightweight, uh, but maybe not as good in terms of performance. A little bit of vibration, um, but I would recommend adding a second grip. And once it's been oiled and knocked in, I reckon it's going to be a good cricket bat. Um, so yeah, those are the SG Sierra 350 cricket bats, 169.99. Uh, free padded back cover and free UK mainland delivery. So excellent quality bats guys, uh, really impressed with the SG offerings and exceptional value for money guys. So if you're someone who's on a budget, then I won't look any further, I won't look past the SG bats that we've got in stock. Alright, thank you very much, speak to you all soon, bye bye.